Hi guys, uh, I'm Gemma, Community Manager here at Raw Fury, and I am joined today by the devs of Flateye. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey! Hey! Bonjour! So, I was wondering if you guys wanted to give a brief introduction of what Flateye is all about, um, I think, as it's your guys' baby. Um, I'd be curious to hear how you would describe it. Um, so Flateye is a narrative management game. Um, on one side, it's the story of a of a service station in Iceland, which is turned into a flagship um, uh, shop for a big, big tech company such as Amazon or Apple, and you're going to have to manage it, build uh, new modules and uh, handle, handle your customers' uh, needs. Uh, and on the other side, it's uh, pretty much like Nyko, it's going to be a heavy narrative game. You're going to meet uh, premium characters that are going to be coming to your station with uh, a story, something to tell you, and they're going to use all these characters are going to use different modules, which are like our buildings, if you want, and they're going to use those modules to clone themselves, uh, teleport, change their memory, learn new stuff in an instant, um, and a lot of fun stuff like that. So, how do you feel like you want the story of Flat Eye to impact players? What do you want them to come away from the game feeling? It's 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 all about technology. It's we we want players to to play that game and just ask themselves questions about the the, the world we are living in. The idea for players is like, are you sure you want to go that way? Because yeah, technology is good. It's good for everyone. It, it can actually save the humankind, but only if we go the right way. And there is also questions about the, 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 the life in a, in a huge tech company, like when you are, you know, just a cog in a, in a very, very big uh, machine, um, you're just a number for your, for your both. And, and, and we want players to think about that and just to f feel and try to grasp what it is to be just a tiny number in a, in a big tech company. Um, that's, yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. What is very interesting, I think, on this project, and I think it was the same for Night Call, is how do we, how do we tell real world stories through the medium of video games, and that's something that is uh, very important to Laurent and, and, and myself. Uh, Night Call is based on a lot of uh, real stories or, or people that actually existed, uh, and that was important for us to. Uh, do a, a big documentation work. So we went through a lot of research and we read a lot of articles and we kept, as we were, as we were making the games, we were discovering that some of the technology we are mentioning, talking about is actually, is, is starting to be tested. We, we believe that um, games are part of something uh, which is our society right now and it needs to address some stuff. I mean, it's fine if you're, I'm, I'm not saying it's better. Our game is better because we do that, but it's for us. It's for our team. It's really important, and uh, we know that everyone on the on our team is very excited to bring uh, something real to the game. Yeah. I really love the fact that at first, when you hear about the game and you hear about the pitch, you say, "Haha, selling organs in a in a gas station. That's so weird. That's so special and stuff." And you start playing the game and, that, and slowly you say, yeah, no, uh, it makes sense. And now teleporting people, yeah, it makes sense in a gas station. Yeah, yeah, true. That's all right. Because we and it's because it's because Anthony is, is brilliant in, 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 in what he does. And we have so many tiny things and tiny, tiny narrative um, uh, parts that come together to create this weird and different but so credible world. The story is, is so credible and, and all the different aspects are so good and so special that yeah it's it's very good. And I only say that because it's my game and I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm totally Yeah, biased, not biased. You know. No. No, no, no. no. Well <laughs> it's I think a it's, good game. I think it's awesome too and honest to God, I I'm really, really excited for this game to release and for people to start to resonate with the story and learn about the world and flat eye and, and, and really just embrace everything that it's about. So I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. Um, some really Thanks interesting so discussions. 
please do wish list uh, if you are at all interested in flat eye it um, helps us out a great lot and um, yeah that's it thank you